up Why you messing my head up Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, yeah, yeah It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe, cause you're all that I crave, so I wonder, where are you, where are you, don't hide away from me, when I need you most, we got love guaranteed, and I have to know, say, Just pick up your phone, tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know. Let me know when you're ready, cause I made reservations. Too many invitations, and the last night was heavy. heavy. I need communication, tell me where's your location. Used to talk 24-7, what you like every about the other second. I like how there's bandanas, and then there's the Nike logo. Okay, did you notice that the Nike logo on the inside is a pink, a pinkish color? Yes. And the outside is a blue? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Are they comfortable? Yes, very. I can wear these anywhere, technically. Do you think you can run in them when you're playing with your friends? Absolutely not. So you can't run in them. So they're not for running and playing with your friends. They're more for just hanging out, like looking good, but not running around and playing basketball. No, like, they're good for like running around and playing basketball, but uh, I just, I can't play rough in them. Oh, okay, okay. Because you know what happened last time on my new shoes and I played rough in them? Yeah, you yeah. was being a boy. <laughs> but you can play ball in those. You think yeah. you can play football and stuff in those with your friends? Yes. Okay. So are they tight on your, around your toes or your heels? No, no not really. They're like your shoes, but a little bit smaller. Oh, the ones I had that you tried on? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm glad you liked them. What caught your eye when you first seen them on the site? What was the first thing that caught your eye? The Travis Scott logo on the front of it. Oh, with the Cactus Jack? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right, well, that's cool. I'm glad. So, overall, what you give those shoes? What do you rate them? Like a one out of 100. I'll give them, like... A 95. Okay. All right. That's good then. Okay. All right. Would you get you another pair of Travis Scott shoes, but in a different design? Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. How old are you? 10. Okay. I and don't want to turn 11. Huh? I don't want to turn 11. Why not? Because people say 11 is the hardest to be. Oh. Mm. And I'm going to be 11 in fourth grade. Mm, it's not that bad. I promise. Okay. And this is just what he nice. paired it with. His khaki and his white and blue outfit. He got this outfit from Old Navy, so it wasn't good with his shoes. And he's wearing them today for his summer program, but he's not going to wear them throughout the summer unless we're going, going somewhere. Other than that, he'll just have them for school next year. All right. You got to thank the company for sending them out to you. Thank you so much for giving me these shoes. And, uh, that's, I can't, Mama Bunches, right? Okay, go ahead. Well, if that's it, that's it. Bye. All right, y'all. He'll see y'all later. Right on time. Crew, as you guys seen, Philip just got finished doing his review on the shoes, letting y'all know what he think, what he think about them, what he like about them, what he dislike. I don't even think he really had any dislike. Um, it was kind of funny that he said that he couldn't run with his friends because he know he'll tam up. Y'all know boys hard on shoes, but he can. So I'm going to go ahead on and just show y'all or give y'all the details on what I like um, about these shoes. This is the box that it came in. You guys would have seen that throughout the clip. 
And when I saw the box, I liked it. Of course, y'all know these boxes go through some stuff when they go through travel. I did get these in through DHL. I think it was DHL. Most of my stuff come in either through DHL or through FedEx. And I know with DHL, you know, they unbox them and they repackage them. So, of course, the box can get damaged. But it's not a problem for me because it was wrapped up really well. So, the shoes itself did not get any damage to them. But I do like his box. Um, Y'all know these are the Travis Scotts. So, they put a lot of detail because he's big on details. Now, the inside, of course, when you open, you got some more of the um, bandana style. And that's what these shoes pretty much focus on. He got him a pair of Adidas socks. And then the label that comes inside. And of course, y'all know Philip already worn these. And they do come with two extra shoestrings. He get a pink and a black. And these shoestrings are a lot different than the ones that are already in there. And I'm going to show you all why. Of course, you get your your card with your stock X and it has all the information I'm just gonna grab one of these shoes um, and if I did not mention already these shoes actually came from flip shoes and I am going to give you all the details and talk to y'all about prices and everything it was showing that it's cactus jack cactus jack and that is actually Travis Scott recording label so any of the shoes that you will get from him will have his label because, of course, you know, he's an artist and he always rubs his label in his shoes. And they do have Cactus Jack throughout the shoes. They got the bandana and just the detail, again, that they put into these shoes. I did go and look on three other sites for the shoes from the original to the other replicas and all of them. When I say the detail on them, the material... It is spot on. They did not miss out on anything. And I did look at them very close up. The inside, of course, you got your little stretch band. And it helps give more comfort on the shoes. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. The little stretch band on each side. And like I said, the quality of these things are good. They are really, really thick. This is more like a leather almost on the front of the sole. And each part of this shoe has a different texture on it. They have more like a suede leather towards the top. It's more of a thicker cotton where the bandana is. Yeah. The outside Nike sign is like a charcoal gray, almost like a green tint. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then the inside... Nike or swoosh sign is a pink. So when I tell y'all he put details into these shoes, he put details into these shoes. The shoestring Philip like I had asked Jordan. He wasn't a big fan of these type of shoestrings, but Philip liked them. And you know, of course, I know they when you know when they do make these kind of shoes, they go for teenagers and such or younger folks, those young folks. So yeah. And then on these shoe strings, like I said, they came with two extra ones. If I can open a pack. It's just your basic shoe string, but one is pink and one is black. I asked Philip if he wanted to switch them out, and he said no. He may decide to switch them out within, you know, the school year, because I did tell you guys he wore the the first day of school, he came home. He said, well, not first day of school. What you call it, man? His summer camp. He did wear these to his summer camp Thursday. He said they was comfortable. He played in them. And it didn't. he did not get any kind of wear or tear on them. And for Philip, his first day, he hauled on shoes when he wore them. But he did a good job with them. He did a good job wearing these. But he will have these for school next year. So I like them. As far as a mom getting shoes for my son he will get a lot of wearing out of these because they are really durable um they really really are durable and some solid shoes for him and this is his second time 
doing a review on shoes and I haven't had an issue with neither one of them and he wore the other ones to school and they are still in really good shape like they look new so I would like to thank flip shoes for reaching out and now I'm going to give you guys the details on these again they came from flip shoes they are $150 on their site I did go check out two other sites and if you guys want to know the name I do have the name in the title they are the Nike SD Dunk Low, the Travis Scott Jack Boys. And again, you will see Cactus Jack on them because that is his label. These shoes was initially launched in December on December 29, 2019. On the GOAT site, they are $2,210. And on Fairfetch, they was $2,730. And that was up to date. And so you definitely getting a really good deal or a better deal going on to their site. And it's like I said, it's a lot of different places that's doing these shoes. They go from 3000 all the way down to 2000 I've seen some for 1299 So it's just different places depending on, you know, where you want to purchase them from. But like I say, for me, the best deal that I've seen was the ones that I've seen on this site. And also, it's another site, um, and they was both at $150. So, if you are interested in these shoes for your children, grandchildren, and these go all the way up to a man's size. So, you can get these if you're a man. You can get them if you're a woman because they are available. They are, and Philip is, he has some big feet. Philip is 10 years old, but I got his in a man's, I got his in a man's set. And like I said, for 10 years old, that boy got some big old feet. Um, <laughs> he has some really big feet. So, uh, but they go, and they have their size and chart. And you have the conversion chart that it'll tell you from girls to women, boys, and men. So, whatever you prefer to get. I know if I was to purchase these shoes or any other shoes, like I tell y'all all the time, I prefer to get the man size. If they don't have the men available, then I'll opt to get the woman but other than that, it just worked better for me. So let me know what y'all think. If y'all will buy a pair, purchase a pair, if y'all will be interested in even, you know, getting a pair. What y'all think about the Travis Scott shoes and line. Philip is really big on it. Y'all let me know if y'all kids are big with the Travis Scott, with his logos, with his shoes, with his clothes. Because I know Philip is. He like, he, he he's crazy big into them. He was already looking on the site for some more. And he's seen some. He actually seen some slides also that he liked. And it was a few, I think it was like hoodies and other stuff. And all of them, like I said, got the Travis, uh, got the logo. The, what you call it? I just said it. Um, Cactus Jack logo. So, but um, like I say, you guys let me know what y'all think. I don't want to keep y'all any longer. because so we're going to go ahead on and jump into this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If Please congratulate Philip, because this is the second time doing a review from a company. No, third. This is his third time doing a review for a company. Second time doing shoes. So I'm very proud of him. I am very proud of him. And all of his opinions are his, whether he like it or don't like it. If he, he picks his own shoes out, I don't pick them out for him. I let him go through the website. I just walk with him through it. And that's all. Everything else I leave up to him. So all his opinions are his. I just let him talk. Let him say what he want to say. So I thank y'all for watching this portion. We're going to go ahead on and jump into the video. And I will see y'all later. What's up, guys? Look, y'all, we about to get hit with this storm. It's coming in sometime today and going to be here all weekend. So I am praying for everybody from the Texas, Mississippi, or well, Texas, Louisiana, here in Mississippi, because y'all know we like 40 minutes from New Orleans and 20 minutes from Slidell. So we right... <laughs> We ain't ready for this. And y'all already know I done showed y'all how it floods so bad here. Just from a regular rain. And it's like, man, this season's starting off already crazy. And so we are putting, well, we, well, not we. But, man, he just got finished putting anatize. Hey, babe. Hello. He putting anatize for the car. Because the two back tires had needed air. So we back here. CJ's doing that. And we're about to go to the fish, mar fish market and get some fish, some catfish, because Jordan asked mom if that's what he wanted, she wanted today. 
I made some tuna last night. I know I did hamburger helper um, the other day, and we had enough leftovers, but we was out of cornbread. I like my with cornbread, but they still gonna finish that today. I'm gonna sit y'all up. Look, let me tell y'all, I know I've been saying that I'm gonna get me a vlogging stick. Oh, I'm gonna sit y'all one there one second. Because I need one to go back on my dashboard because mine broke. I've been having that thing for about three years, maybe. <laughs> Um, three years, and yeah, and it's just it's time. I'm trying to push my thing down. Yeah, hold on a second. Hold on. I had to keep my seatbelt back home, but yeah, we um. I say, oh, I just want like I want me a tuna sandwich. I want me some more tuna. That tuna was so good last night, and I didn't want to eat too you much. You had tuna last night. I told you I fixed it when you was in the room, and I said, babe, I'm finna go fix some tuna. And I had actually, I said, was well, you going to give mama some? That was around 8 o'clock. No, that was about 7.45 because that's when you went outside walking. When you had went outside? I went to the shower. No, when you went outside. Oh. Not when you was in the shower. When you went outside last night, that's what I was in the kitchen doing. I was making some tuna. And I had told you, I said, babe, I made some tuna. I can't see that with that. Oh, they got a bunch of cars coming. So you got to wait. You got a good wait. But yeah, oh, I told you, I said I had made some. Ooh. And I made, I fixed it and had time to eat a sandwich while you was outside. Mm -hmm. And then when you came in. You didn't in, make your Bruno sandwich, baby. I thought that's what you wanted in the room. And God, you remember last night when you came in the room with a sandwich? I oh, no, I had a um, turkey sandwich. Oh, yeah, I thought that's what you was eating. But yeah, I made one. And when you walk, when you was walking inside and I was throwing my plate away, I just had to finish eating. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Well, are we going to get that fish now? Yeah. Okay. Well, you can just keep shutting on the highway. But, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. But that food was so good. Ooh, that tuna was so good. And you know how when you craving it and it just hit and I had me some potato chips with it. My only weakness is the bread. Because when I make me a tuna sandwich, I have to have it on three pieces of bread. Sometimes I do four. And so I know that's like way too mate. much. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes I'll do four. Now I don't. I'll do the tuna. I'll do the bread, the tuna, bread, tuna, and bread. That's a log cabin back there. Yeah. You ain't never came down this street, or you ain't never paid yeah. attention. I ain't never paid attention. Yep. It was so good. And I had me some of my golden flakes, uh, sweet heat chips. Mm. That house look a big. It hit all the way different. So I'm going to eat me some today for lunch. Well, I didn't eat breakfast yet. Hey, man, what's up all these abandoned houses back here? Not all of them abandoned. Yeah, some of them just not home. That big one. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to fix me up. Oh, excuse me, fix me some tuna salad when I get home. Because it's after 1130, so I'm not going to eat no breakfast right now. It's lunchtime. It's lunch. I had the teachers on eat me some cereal, so I'll probably eat me some Lucky Charms or something for us, a midday snack. And I found I ate cereal and for the first time a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. It's been almost two years. <laughs> yeah, I got him some lactate milk. He ain't never had none of that milk before. Cause that would he be like, babe, I don't really eat cereal because I can't drink milk. And I'm like, get you some lactate. I'll do you some almond milk, one of the two. Oh, he don't want I like to eat milk because y'all know that's what I get for um, Philly Field. I like to eat. Mm. Yeah. Let y'all see how crazy this water looking. I am not ready for this. Because I already know it's going to be so. They already told me I'll take them at the Waffle House because depending on the area that they live in, the Waffle House stay open. But if it floods real bad in the area, then they got a truck like two of their bosses have them big trucks so if they gotta come pick them up they will but if it get too bad they close they don't want them you know in no danger nothing of course um, but while they're open they can drop them off and pick them up because I'm like we can't go out there and neither one of these cars because these cars sit low I'm gonna pull them up and show them this water you remember when we were going to the hotel to get training them that guy was saying he was hurting back up north mm -hmm. before that storm came in this weekend Y'all see this and then we head on to the Alright, y'all. This is what we looking at right now. This is how it's looking. Hey, 
Hey, what's up? How you doing? What's up? Did you come out here? People be blowing at you. This is what we looking at right about now. Guys, when we look at this, like I said, it's going to get worse throughout the day. <laughs> well, everybody be waving. They could be blowing at you. You be like, y'all don't know who we is. <laughs> y'all folks don't know us. I ain't going out there. I ain't going no close. And all this water that y'all see here is going to be way up here. By the end of the night, it's going to be up here by this seawall. And it's going to be splashing onto this highway. And in some areas, you know how it is in every beach. Some areas, it got more water. Like the water is further up than the sand is. Oh, when it be bad weather to y'all, the sand be blowing, mixed with the rain. You cannot see <laughs> Yeah, he experienced it. What was that? The last, what, that wasn't last week. That was Sunday. That was Sunday. That's when we had to go get Riri from work. And we was coming back. And we ran right into it. And Joy was like, baby, I can't see nothing. And I kept telling him, back, go down the back street. I don't know the back street. I'm going to stay on the highway. If that's safe, he called that safe. Because I can see the road. He couldn't, he couldn't see no road. People were pulling over on the side of the road because they couldn't see. Or driving in the middle of it. He sure did. He got us home safe though. But me, I just would have went the back way because I know the back. I know both ways, but I just know is you not dealing with all that sand and rain. It was. You smell that water? I don't smell it. I don't smell it. I know I've been congested and my sinus is bad. I can smell it. This water gonna start looking a whole lot rougher in the next couple hours, so we gonna have our behind home. So when all that, yeah, we might wanna do something. Oh, all the people blowing. Yeah. I'm like, I was getting out. I started walking two car pair by the back. Like I don't know y'all. Y'all don't know me. That's how they do. They blow out here. I told you they extra friendly. They be extra friendly. They don't be knowing you. They be blowing at you like they been knowing you all their life. Shifted out the whole car doing that. <laughs> Anywho, y'all. Okay. Well, we're finna go, like I said, get this seafood so we can head back home out this weather. Um, I'll be back a little bit later, I guess, y'all, when we get the food and we get ready to cook. Like I said, when I get home, it's just gonna be some time. We'll see y'all in a Okay, guys. As promised, we said we was gonna cook catfish. Earlier, and we went to Long Beach and got some catfish. And here go the catfish that we cooked, and I deep fried it in the fryer. And I made some fries, and I seasoned those with salt and pepper and a little garlic powder. Uh, I fried this. We used this uh, salt, pepper, uh, tuna accessories, and cornmeal, and that's it. And they go to the fries. And we're gonna give y'all one more look at the fish. Uh, why you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is just saying.